Hey Internet, let's build a simple but awesome platformer like this in Game Maker Studio. This is 1UP Indie and my mission is to 1UP your game. If you watch most of the other tutorial videos on how to make a game, they start off nicely, try come with lots of coding. When you want to start as a developer, throwing huge chunks of code at you is in my opinion highly counterproductive and not really motivating. I wouldn't blame you for that, it was the same when I started. These tutorials are meant to get you excited as well as entertained for the development of your first pixel art game. Here, here we will build a side scroller. Making games should be enjoyable. Everything should be taught in small and easily digestible chunks. It is the same when you were in school. If you are not motivated, you will not learn anything. I want you to imagine you can say to yourself, I'm making this cool game, I'm having fun doing this and I'm confident to share and sell when it's ready. When you're finished with this tutorial series, you're well equipped and can advance with your knowledge to harder challenges. Here you will not find any complex coding or unnecessary stuff. The code is therefore universal and can be implemented into every game maker project you wish. You learn how to do simple coding by yourself without deep understanding of everything. There's really no need for that. Don't be discouraged that this is only for some gifted master programmers. It is totally not. Everybody started small. So how is it all structured? Every tutorial has a difficulty level ranging from green being easiest, orange normal and finally blue being epic. I will break all my videos into three parts. Part 1. Preview. What is the result? You can instantly see what you get in the end. Basically all that is shown at the start of every video. Part 2. Structure. How the code functions work in theory. Here you will get a closer look how it works and what it is used for. Part 3. Application. Finally we will implement those things nice and easy to follow with some examples. There is also a highly compressed video called Quick and Dirty for the experienced devs and people who prefer the quick and dirty fix. It is less detailed but contains all necessary basics. With all that out of the way, let's get to the beefy part. You will find lots of tutorials where they teach you movement, collisions, state machines, all the basics in that regard. The truth to be told, I don't really start with that. This stuff takes lots of time and after a few hours you only have set up only some basics. It's complicated and not intuitive. And it's ugly. By experience most people feel discouraged and leave. My approach, in contrast to all the regular tutorial guys, is to take an already made platformer engine for GameMaker and build on top of it. I will make a video on that specific topic so you understand why I can't recommend building everything by yourself. So what do we need? First requirement. Not mandatory but it gives you a better feeling of the game when you test new stuff in it. Here are some examples. Second requirement. Get some assets. You only need sprite sheets for the player and a basic tileset for your environment. There are plenty of great sites where you can get some decent ones for free or paid if you want. Itch.io is pretty good. You find asset in this section on the left under browse and assets. Another great site is opengameart.org. Just browse and you will definitely find something that suits you. Everything there is free, but you have to check the creative common rights on what you are restricted to do. The last familiar source is Patreon. And there are lots of pixel art creators that give you for a small donation whole libraries of their already produced content. If itch.io or opengameart is too messy for you. All necessary links in the description below. As a side note, please be advised to not use any assets that you don't own. There are of course other stores like Unity, at least for my part, I just use those three options. They have proven to be the best sources for my own project. And the third and last requirement, yes, you need Game Maker. Get a demo or an old free version or paid one. The whole tutorial series is based on that program, link below. I use Game Maker Studio 2 Steam version. The first and the second requirement are not mandatory, but it gives a nicer look and feel and are highly recommended. Well, and that's it. In the next tutorial we actually start doing some stuff. Or we build a platformer like this. If you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing, cause I do upload two videos a week. In need of some pixel art for your game? Get my assets on Patreon or itch.io. Let me know what you think in the comment section and see you next time.